started doing plaintiff's work. Okay. So I did that for about four and a half years uh, right over here by the uh, Oak Brook Mall. I worked for a sole practitioner and uh, even took all of that experience that I'd gotten in the you know, year and a half that I worked at the first firm and was able to translate that into, you know, developing a portfolio of business for myself, mm -hmm. representing clients, doing the same type of work. You know, f the first couple of months, judges were like, well, wait a minute, how come you're on the plaintiff's side? <laughs> and I said, well, judge, I've changed firms. And they're like, oh, okay, switch teams, huh? <laughs> and so that was actually kind of funny for a mm. little while. And what you realize then probably is that there is two sides to every story. Absolutely. Right? And, and now I need to argue this side. And so you're on the other side of the table and now you have amp empathy and understanding of these people that are uh, that are the defense folks. Right. And then sometimes when I would go up against attorneys that we used to share co-defendants, now they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. But you know that same uh, that same spirit of cooperation, but representation was always there, and I found that actually benefited my clients. We did very well those years that I was in plaintiff's work. Hmm.